If I get fuel and cash a tea check, will the tea check be free to cash? Uh, up to two hundred dollars. Uh, if you eat more than fifty gallons of fuel, you get a free cash advance up to two hundred. So if it's three hundred, okay. it's a three dollar fee. Well, no, it's not. A, it's on. It's on. It's a tea check. I actually have a check. So, oh, it's a. Yeah, it's a tea check. Okay. Yeah. Um, how much is the check for? Well, it's like two forty. There's a three dollar fee. Oh, okay. So regardless, if I get fuel or not. Uh, no. If you don't get fuel, it's going to be three dollars for every hundred bucks. So you're going to be paying about nine dollars. If you get okay. fuel over fifty gallons, you only pay three dollars for it. Oh, okay. Ryan Little. <laughs> How long you been driving? Um, three years. Four years. Uh, about a year. Uh, about seven years, I want to see. How important it is to save money out here as a truck driver? How uh, important is it? Shit, it's big importance. Big thing, man. Why? Why? Because if you want a home, like a house, what I'm saying for a house, brand new truck, all that good stuff. I mean, you ain't gonna get in all the way. I mean, you know, cause you got cats out here, man, messing up their money. You know what I'm saying? Been out here 15, 20 years, ain't got nothing to show for. Ain't got nothing to show for. Very, very important. Very important. Really important. Very, very important. You got a lot of these young cats around here. I'm 58. You got a lot of these young cats around here, man. They burn through their money like that, man, out here with buying them expensive shoes and all that other stuff. What is the one thing you dislike most about trucking today? Traffic. <laughs> don't get paid enough. Right now, these are prices. Staying away from the family. What I don't like, I don't like the BOTs always uh, harassing the drivers. That seems like what they're doing. A lot of times harassing the drivers. Uh, well, that's what that's what I feel. Traffic. Right. Pulling, pulling drivers over like that, man, just because they feel as though drivers making big money, that's how they get their revenue from the drivers. That's right. That's not right. Exactly. Because they gotta go to a store. You gotta you like to eat. You like to, you gotta go to the store and buy stuff. Why are you messing with the people that are doing the job? What do you think about self-driving trucks? The way of the future or not? I don't think about it at all. No. I think they're really stupid, to be honest with you. Not really. No. I trust my own drive. <laughs> Why do you think trucking companies are having a hard time finding drivers today? Because a lot of the drivers, uh, this is my opinion, I think oh, a lot of the opinion. drivers, uh, when they, oh, oh, money, you know, they see money. They don't see all the risk, uh, uh, aggravation, uh, traffic, like the bad things about it. They see the good things in the beginning uh, until they really realize how hard it is. Just glad with the home time and the pay. All right. I don't know. Pay. Pay. I say that's because of uh, the people that they hire in, that works in the uh, company. You got people that don't get along with other people. You got some people that, uh, I don't know, get put in certain positions that don't need to be there. Okay. okay. They make it, uh, they make it, make it so people don't want to work for that company because of the, the establishment. Okay, okay. What would be the main reasons truckers consider changing companies? Mm, more money, better benefits, uh, more vacation. I get them home on time and get money. Okay. They start doing uh, defaults against them. Like, for an example, they didn't pay a vacation. They're unfair. They're giving good routes, good routes to other people. And, you know, they are. Good like, answer. What is the main reason? Yeah. What would be some of the main reasons? I say money, money, that's yes. one. Uh, like I said before, could be the, uh, the individuals that are working in the company, the dispatchers with all that, you know, a lot of them like.
like, how they talk to people, how they talk to you. What are some of the must have items you should have in your truck? We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Definitely some snacks, food, white. That's a good one. Body wash, shampoo, uh, stuff to check your tires with, ceramic stuff like that. First aid and uh, emergency, emergency kit. Uh, I want to say, since we supposedly in the future, I want to say a phone because right now in emergency, a phone call, everything is like quicker. Like right now, I would say a phone. From one to ten, rate your dispatcher. Uh, eight. It's a ten because this is a new job that I have now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say like a six. Six. Well, rate yourself. Um, Give yourself a ten. Yeah, I will. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Why did you get into the truck? Um, because I like to drive. Money. 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 Honestly, for the money. I got into the truck because uh. I like it. How many miles have you driven so far in your in your career? Probably about 200,000. I lost count. Oh, wow, that's hard to say. I couldn't answer that one right offhand. <laughs> what has trucking done for you? Uh, gave me a better life as far as making money. I guess your peace of mind. I didn't accomplish a lot with it. I all right, all right. All right, big man, but thank you very much for your time, man. Check me out on YouTube. <laughs> My name's Lockout Man from okay. YouTube. Uh, all right. I hope I am good. Are you? Yeah, you good? Ryan Little. <laughs>